Man, there's a few a foot from Stop me and I was recording like, this bum ass nigga. He bum. We not worried about him. He talking about. Go get your shoes on, yo. He talking about you hurt. Get your shit ready, bro. Oh, he wanted them. Oh, he wanted them. Yeah. That's how we playing? Just fouling if I get by you? Chance, chance! Him, he just grab him? Nobody grab him. Stop. Bro, you know you fouled him. Come Hell on. no. You play, you bro, play bro, real you basketball. Yeah, I play real ball. You know I, you yeah, fouled him. You, that's what y'all do. Y'all go, y'all play aggressive. You know you fouled him. I'm saying y'all play aggressive. That's what y'all so do, though. Accept the fact that that's you fouled him. That's clear. That's clear. Man. Bro, that's six points off free throws if we're playing a real game.
my God! Here we go! That's not a fucking foul. Jay, is you playing? 
Yeah. So sorry ass up, goofy nigga. Hey, let that nigga some face time. Put it on him. Get a bucket. Shit, he was on ball in his life. So sorry ass up, nigga. You trying. 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 You feel like a house hunter. Playing, bro. My legs fucked up, dude. Oh, fuck me. Yo, yo, I, I can't, I can't take another step, man. I don't know if I, I don't know if I did something bad. Yo, bro, I, I can't play. I can't play. I just fucked my leg up badly. Hey, dude, it's, it's done. It's done. There's no way I can fucking take a step. I can't wait. What's going on everybody? Hope y'all enjoyed the video. This shit was a crazy one. Definitely something, you know, I wasn't really expecting. Uh, I, I, I like to keep, I want to keep things just completely transparent with y'all. That's the vibe I've been on. You know, it's what I've told you guys is I want you guys to be involved and understand everything that happened and what's going through my mind, what's going through the team's mind and um, some of the very hectic si situations that we're in. So to start it off, this was a tough one, guys, because uh, you know, like I was, um, I was at the LA Fitness a couple hours before the run. We were getting a warm up in. We were doing an in and out drill, king of the court. Went to make like a little like hesitation type move and a go, like a sharp, quick go. As I go to make that cut, I feel like a pop in my leg, down in my calf, a real non-contact pop. As soon as I feel that, right away, I stopped and I'm like, yo. I looked at my home, Chauncey actually was, I'm like, bro, I just fucked my leg up. You know, I, um, I didn't want to believe it. I didn't want to believe that I actually fucked it up and I actually hurt it. Um, I, you know, I didn't want to believe it. Like we came all the way from, from Florida to uh, Philadelphia to, you know, have a park run and I fucked my leg up. You know what I mean? So it just pretty, it was pretty shocking in the moment from that, uh, from when I felt the pop right away, I tried stretching it, tried doing everything I can to heal it, you know, in the moment. We go to fucking Dick's Sporting Goods and get one of the massage guns. I'm running the massage gun on my leg, doing everything I possibly can, try to get my leg right. My leg was cooked, legs done. Don't know what happened. Um, 
need to go and actually get it fucking checked out today. But um, aside from that, you know, I wanted to still give the people a run. I wanted to try to play. So we went to the gym that we promised we were going to go to, and um, I attempted to play. And you know how it is when you, when you get that adrenaline going, you know, you, you know you got a couple hundred people waiting on you to pull up, and, every, you know, everyone's waiting and ready. That adrenaline takes over, and you don't feel the pain, you know? It, it kind of subsides. It leaves. So I attempted to play. I did play. Um, was real caught off guard by the host hostility in the, uh, in the gym when we got there. You know, I get it. I understand. I'm the one nowadays. It's like you pick a beef with me, you go at it with me. I get it. You get attention. You get people talking about it. So I understand. It's just pretty crazy, man, and pretty mind-blowing that um, a homie could be talking with you and, and uh, wanting to get you out to the gym, man. We'll have good runs. It'll be good. It'll be lit. You do, you know, you spend thousands of dollars to get out there, plane trips, fucking, you know, leave your home city, traveling, staying in hotels and doing everything you can to come help turn a run up and you walk in the gym and it just basically was a war zone. You know, it was, uh, it was wild, man. Homies on the phone with me, setting a run up, talking like we're homies, we're good, like it's tight, it's, it's lit, it's gonna be fun. And then we walk in the gym and I guess when the cameras come on, it turns people into real, real fucking demons. Um, which, hey, I'm not opposed of. I'm not fucking tripping. But um, just a real tough and real tough environment to walk into when you know it's it's yourself and your team, basically versus 200 people. So um, yeah, I got dropped. You know, it, it was a crazy, hectic type scene. And just to put you guys in my shoes and explain kind of how I felt in that situation, it's like when you're playing ball and you're in someone else's spot, and there's a couple hundred people in there. And you're being told you're gonna get your ass beat by all kinds of different people. You're not you you're not gonna walk in there like and be fucking tough, and you're not gonna be swinging on people. So for me, it was like homies in my face, homies pushing on me, homies pushing on my neck, pushing on my face. You know, I, I turn away, homie puts his face up and my bumps on my chin. I don't know if homie has his fist up in my chin, if it's his, you know, if it's his face up in my chin, all I knew in that moment was someone's in my face pushing up on me. I need to grab, keep this dude on me. I'm not going to let him swing on me. I don't know what the fuck is going on. You know what I'm saying? It's a real awkward type situation where I'm going to just grab this dude, keep him on me, a little, little, little weird, little grapple type thing. So as I go to do that, homie lifts me up, puts me down, man. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, so what do I do from there if you're me? What do I do? Do I swing? Do I go to try to punch him? You know what I'm saying? Then that, what, what, what would happen from there? Well, I'm going to get jumped. Like, you know, it's a real iffy, sketchy situation when you're in someone else's spot and they're talking how they got 200 people and if something goes down, we all going to get our ass beat. So, you know, we, we put our lives at risk every time we go out here and make these videos. And um, I was talking to one of my boys and... I feel like I'm lucky to even be alive at this point through all these videos that we filmed. So I just hope that you guys understand the, uh, you know, like how not easy this is to make these videos and to film this content for y'all. And uh, when people try to act like, oh, they fake the videos, they stage the videos, it's tough to hear that, man, because because the I'm putting my life on the line every time I go out here, bro. I'm putting my life on the line. I don't know what the fuck could happen every time I go out to one of these parks, man. And um, it's just wild, bro. Like. People will really be on the phone with you like, yeah, man, come come, come to our spot, bro. It's, it'll be a good run, bro. It'll be lit. High energy. It'll be great. And then you walk in the gym and they aren't ready to fucking brawl. So just, um, just a lot goes through my mind, man. A lot goes through my mind. I could sit here and talk about all this for a long time. But um, that's basically it. We went to a homie spot. Uh, had the whole gym against us. What do I do? Do I fight the, this guy? Do I like what do I do? If I swing, do I get jumped? I, it's a lot of question marks. But this is how it turned out. This is what happened. I hope you guys wa enjoyed it, watched it. Hope it brought y'all entertainment because y'all's entertainment is my purpose, and that's all that I'm here for. So appreciate y'all. Much love. We not stopping. We gonna keep going. Y'all know what the fuck the vibe is. Much love to you guys. We'll be back.